Hi, this is Daniel Johnston from Tech Kid Help 101, and today I'd like to show you how you can move from having an audio file on audible.com to having a burned disk of that file. So first you've got to go to audible.com, I'm already signed in, so then go to your library. So here, let's say you want to uh, have a burned disc of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Audible was actually kind enough to give The Wonderful Wizard of Oz for free yesterday, so I didn't even have to pay anything for it. It was pre pretty nice because um, it was the 75th anniversary of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Um, so let's say I wanted to, to take this and put it into... Uh, burn disk. So what you want to do is you want to click download and um, so as we wait for this to load I think a lot of you might not have a need for this anymore you know burning disks and stuff but I've I found a need to as I've um, you know gone away to school and stuff like that and um, I was asking people to burn some disks from Audible for me but they didn't really know how to do it so I thought if they needed help, maybe some of you might too. So, um, so this is almost done. So now let's open up iTunes. All right. So now you just drag this file in like that. Don't click it because then it'll play, but it won't actually go into your library. So you want to drag it in there like that. So you see, there it is, the wonderful Wizard of Oz, uh, just like we wanted. So then what you do is you um, you go and you, you create a new playlist. Um, see, I already have one created, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, so create a new playlist. All right, wonderful Wizard of Oz. So then go here, you just drag it there like that. Um, so then you go to File. Burn playlist to disk, and then you have an op a few options. So data CD or DVD is pretty cool because you can usually on a CD you can only burn up to 80 minutes, but on a data disk you can burn um, pretty much as as much as the disk will hold in terms of megabytes, which could be a lot because they have some like 800 megabyte disks. However, data disks won't usually play, and even car players, let alone CD players. MP3 players, MP3 CDs will work in MP3 players, and audio CDs will work in pretty much anything. So then you just have to click burn and then put in into your um, disk drive a disk, blank disk, and then it, then they'll start burning, and then you'll have some some burned disk that you can take with you and listen. And so. By the way, I'd, I'd actually recommend, if, if you're not on Audible yet, going and checking it out. It's a pretty cool website because um, they have all kinds of books and um, all kinds of audio books, all kinds of, yeah, just all kinds of stuff. And you can, you get one, one for free every month and then you can buy some more. They're not too expensive, especially like you can see if you remember you get a discount um, and then you can listen to them like in your car and and stuff and um, which you know on, on the way and back to work you could get a lot of a lot of reading done so and you know how you know reading books helps you know increase your vocabulary and knowledge and all that good stuff so I'd recommend giving Audible a try if you have the chance so um, yeah so that's how you go from having in your library, an Audible book, to moving it to iTunes, and then to burning it to a CD. So, so that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, leave a comment on how you thought the video was, and check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com/techtop101. So I'll see you later.